You know, innovation in my experience is, it's not so much a science experiment. It's not going out there and finding and developing novel new materials. Um, often the puzzle is figuring out the problem and then figuring out how to take the best ideas that are out there and apply those to that problem in the most effective way. If you don't understand the problem, you don't even know where to start from an innovation perspective. You can't understand the problem if you're not out on the water experiencing angling um, and, and thinking about how product contributes to that experience. You know, I, I think one of the things about water that's so striking is just the subtle power of water. And that's something you experience when you, when you step into a river and you feel that persistent pressure of the current. But then you take a big step back and you look at the way that water can shape and transform landscapes from the most sort of hands-on experience of stepping into the river. Um, to just the massive impact that it has on a landscape and on, you know, society overall. I think we all get a lot of pride from playing a role in creating a product and then getting out on the water and seeing that product um, being put to use. Oh, here you go. <laughs> yeah. Dude, just needed to slow it down a little bit. For over 30 years, uh, we've, we've shown up here at Sims in Montana with the singular purpose of connecting anglers to their best days on the water. We have engineers, artists, entrepreneurs, scientists, craftsmen, just a, a, an incredibly diverse team that shows up every day and we are the people that we're making the waiters for. It's really important for me to be an end user so that when I'm helping create the technical sketches that go to the factory, that I really have a personal connection to what happens to the product and how it actually performs out on the water. Every single day I come to work, I imagine myself as the end user. This job is a lot of fun because it is different every single day. Um, every single season, we're working in a development calendar that's two years in advance most times. We're having meetings every week where things change and we need to keep up with that change and uh, come in here and make sure that they meet our standards to become a Sims product that go actually goes to market so that the end consumer is having the best experience when they're on the water. You know, we just want to simply make the best product that's out there. I'm a fourth generation Montana, born of Butte. American made is really important to me. Making waders is like, it's kind of carried on the foundation of, of that heritage, as well as like just taking pride in your work. That's definitely a Montana value. If there is something that does not pass our quality standard, it's not going through. That's not what we're doing here. We're not sending something out the door that doesn't meet our highest standard. Because again, we're the people that use it too. Um, so for us, we take a lot of pride in making sure that A, the waiter is waterproof, but B, that it, it holds up to the, the SIM standard for quality. That's what this company is all about. Quality products for somebody that likes to fish hard. I tell my team that we might push through 500 waiters a day, but that customer might only open that box one time. I like to sign them, just kind of shows the customer that it's actually a person that does the packaging here. You know, the culture at Sims when I started was really obsessive in terms of the details of the product. We nitpick everything, and I think it's a good attribute in, in our line of work. And I think that that um, obsessive focus on the experience of the angler has been at the core from day one. The people whose hands are actually on those waders, um, they're, they're not only thinking about the, the end user, but they're thinking about their own experience as an angler. 
And the fact that we've been doing this for decade upon decade enable us as a brand to create better solutions to continue to push the needle in terms of the product that's available for anglers out there.